Now, if you clicked on this video, you fall into one of three categories. Category number one, you're someone who adores and loves Tom McDonald, and you're just here to see if I hate on him because of the criticisms that I've given in the past. Number two, you're someone who likes to watch this channel because of my because of my content and you like my take on Tom McDonald and the fact that I don't just, you know, pander and I don't just I don't just say the things that are going to garner clicks. And if I don't like the song, I don't like the song. If I got criticisms, I got criticisms. That That's what you like. You like me being real. So that's why you're here. Or number three. You don't you have no idea who I am. You have no idea. you just you stumbling upon this channel and this is your first reaction. Either way, I'm glad that all of y'all are here. Now, if you fit into category number one or category number two, you know that me, uh, my my relationship with Tom McDonald's music and who he is as an artist, it, it couldn't be more polarized. Like, I feel that I have 100% legitimate criticism of Tom McDonald on one hand, but in the other hand, I also have a respect for his grind and for him and Nova's, like, their, their ingenuity to be able to make it as far as he's made it in the independent music scene. Like, I think that he's a good like he has a good pen game he has talent to be able to write music to write lyrics but i just there's just something that has never it's something that's always turning me off to every single song that he's done whether it be pandering to counterculture whether it be flipping sides on certain arguments like gun control whether it be pandering to people who don't like rap music and you make a song that's all about like blame the rappers when you're a rapper yourself and you know just everything there there's always something with the tom song but everybody hit me up and was like yo this tom song is different and say everybody's saying i need to react to it saying that he's acknowledging acknowledging not necessarily my direct criticism but just criticism from the music and hip-hop scene in general and I say it every single video because of this hand where I love his where I love his grind and I love his ability to write lyrics and I can clearly see his talent this hand is the one that wants me to see him to succeed like I want to see him succeed I want to see him get the respect and everything that he deserves that is away from Tom McDonald's fan base and like I said because I want to see him succeed I am listening to more songs songs that I would ever listen to from from an artist that I have a negative viewpoint on or I don't or I, or I have criticism about the style of music that they write. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I don't like it. But I'm excited as I always am going into a Tom McDonald video cuz I want him I want him to put my to put my criticisms to bed. I want him to to falsify the criticisms that I have so that way I could be like, "Yo, all right, this was fire. I fuck with this one. Again, you as a Tom fan, you as a, a member of the third family, or if you're new here, I keep it real no matter what. I'm not going to pander to anybody's fan base. So let's see what he's got. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's get it. I can't hide my frown. My smile is hiding from my mouth. Or I'm so high my eyes can't see the ground beneath the clouds. Don't look down. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Like, I think Tom has the ability to like write. I think his pen game is strong. His ability to articulate, his ability to write rhyme schemes, and like that that entire scheme right there was fire. I mean, there's nothing really in there to break down. He's just talking about the potential to, that he has, like self doubt in what he's doing potentially because of people like me that criticize. But his ability to craft rhyme scheme is up there with the best of them. This is what I'm talking about. Like, like I don't think that he's a bad rapper. I don't think that his pen is whack. I don't I don't think like his technical ability. To, to write rhymes i think it's i think it's there and it's better than a lot of other people i just realized that the song is seven and a half minutes that's a long ass track silence on my cries for help as long as i am rising hold up hold up hold up what i was gonna say i know a lot of people are gonna criticize and call him corny the all black contacts is part of the reason why people feel that way it's the same thing with hobson hobson gets that like gets that corny tag placed on him sometimes because uh, he says corny corny shit sometimes and on top of that he's got like the white he's got the white contact in where Tom McDonald has the black like that's going to be the kind of thing that that people are going to have as a criticism it might be small and minor but it's going to be like bruh why so and so got way too famous and ended up killing himself with some pills and a knife hey I will never let my mental illness be the cause of my downfall they're climbing as high as their ladders can take him and screaming my name but I don't look down yeah Tom. Hi guys remember Hell yeah, Tom. That was a bar. That was everything right there. That was fire. 
You know what I'm saying? Like part of the things that that solidifies my criticism in my mind and should solidify it in your mind as a as a Tom McDonald fan who understands why I criticize. If you're a fan that just as soon as I as soon as I open my mouth and the criticism is coming out and you just talk shit, then I, this is I'm not talking to you because you clearly have your mind set in one way. But for the fan that like understands my critical nature of Tom McDonald tracks and singles, the ones that say, oh, that's because you're catching him right now. Go and listen to the songs from two years ago. The, in my mind, it's like you're 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 proving my point by you having to tell me to go back to old music in order for me to understand like, oh, this is why people like him. I want to like you and your music in the current day, you know? But I'm saying all that to say is like what he's saying right here and talking about like, you know, his internal demons and his struggles and he got it out the mud and all of that, That's that sounds like rap that is, that is true from the heart. And if I had to go back and listen to the other songs this house and all those other ones that everybody tells me to i have a feeling that it's gonna sound much similar to this and that's why y'all tell why, why y'all say that i would like it my biggest problem with tom mcdonald's singles that he puts out i don't know about the album i didn't listen to the album but definitely the singles especially ones that are politically charged they are 100 pandering to a certain demographic and that demographic eats that shit up but us over here on the hip-hop side of world like we're gonna see right through that pandering that's why People call him corny. But whenever you're spitting some true shit like this, whenever you're spitting some shit that people can actually like feel, you know what I'm saying? That's when it's real. I, I got no complaints about this song whatsoever. And the bar about like people like criticizing and people like, you know, people looking for clout by using his name and they're trying to climb the ladder of success by using his name. And he recognizes that and he but he doesn't look down at them. He's so far above them already that they're just trying to climb the ladder to get to the point that he's already passed like that's a fire ass line you know what i'm saying like he keeps his head down he's not he's not listening to criticism and of course people are gonna say oh that line was for people like you Ernest." not really i criticize because i don't like his music not because i wanted to use his name for clout i'm only listening to as much tom mcdonald music as i am because people tell me that he's as good as he is and i still have yet to find that song that makes me feel like that but we'll see if this one's the one i two fists full of middle fingers i got no time for high fives for a drive-by by nine because i heard that a has nine lives i'm the one that y'all hated i'm See, the flow is crazy. I'm the white guy that y'all wanted to cancel. You know, like everything that he's talking about right there. I got a fistful of fucking middle fingers. I don't have enough like room for a high five because all the other fingers are closed. But the middle, like, that's clever. And he said, I'm too rich for a drive-by. I pay the pilot to fly it low so I can do a flyby because I'm above you. I don't look down. Like, you know, it's, it's fire. This is good. But what I will say, we haven't heard a hook yet. That'll be the true tell for me, at least. Cause I heard that a has nine lives. I'm the one that y'all hate. Cause that became the greatest since Old Slim Shady. I'm the one who don't care. I'm the one who go don't float. My throat gets no air. I can barely breathe. Now Shaq's now Shaq's thumbnail makes sense. All right, he's quote he's quoting. Okay, he's quoting the song. All right, all right, we're good now. We're fine. Obviously. That's going to be the line that everybody talks about right there. And he said, I'm the one that that you hated. I'm the one that became paid and famous and made it. And I'm the greatest. Like the rhyme scheme is fire. Up until the old, the new Slim, since the old Slim Shady. There is no way. There is no way that you can honestly say that. There is n fuck no way. I could name a multitude of not even just rappers, white rappers, since we're putting everybody in the white category that have had more mainstream success than Tom McDonald. I could put Mac Miller. I could put Logic. <laughs> I could put g Easy in terms of success. And I hate the fact that he tries to... <sighs> He's the only one that's talking about Eminem in the same breath as Tom McDonald. And this is the kind of thing that turns, that turns your average rap fan, someone who listens to rap on the reg, that understands and respects the culture and the craft, that's the kind of line that turns people off to you, Tom. And this is at the point when Tom McDonald fans are going to be like, now this motherfucker's just hating. I'm not hating. I'm trying to explain from, from the eye of outside of Tom's fan base. I'm trying to explain to y'all guys, because y'all are so wrapped up in here, that Tom saying things like he's the, the next greatest rapper since Old Slim Shady. That is just not true. And no one is making that comparison but him. And that's what, pe that's what 
turns people off to, to why why not be your own artist i'm the one who goes where no one goes because they're scared i'm the one who don't choke when the boat don't float my throat gets no air see that's a fucking bar bro i'm the one who don't choke when the boat don't float and gets no air i'm the one who don't care i'm the one who goes where no one goes because they're scared those are some fucking bars. Stop fucking comparing yourself to Eminem. Be your own artist because you clearly have the potential. I'm underneath, shining too bright and I can't turn them off. I'm been turning up and I ain't turning down. Maybe I should chill. I'm afraid of what happens if I take a rest. I'm afraid that I'll hey. end up where I was before in the hood. With that was hard. I'm not afraid of success. I'm not afraid of success. I'm afraid of what happens if I take a rest. See, bro? This motherfucker can spit. Do more of this right here. Because this is fucking bars right here. The production solid right here. Every everything. Everything about the song so far, except for the real Slim Shady line or the old Slim Shady line. Everything about it. Th this is this is tight. This is tight. I'm scared of the altitude up in the clouds. I'm scared of the fall, so I don't look down. Every single one of you. Real quick, I just wanted to uh I wanted to address something because I think I don't know if people have a misunderstanding of the way YouTube monetization works. Because Again, I've been critical about the fact that he doesn't like that. He censors out his his words. And then people always in the comments are like, he does this. That way he can monetize on YouTube. He's playing chess, not chess. Shut the I don't know if you know the way it works, but you can cuss as much as you fucking want on YouTube, especially if it's a creative piece of, of video, such as a music video. When my videos get demonetized, it's not because of the amount of fucking cussing I do. I just wanted to point that out so that way I never see another comment like that again. He doesn't cuss because he monetizes so that way he can make money and he's making money off of you, you using his See you because I don't look down. Don't look down. What I will say about the I, it's not even really a hook. This is way better of a hook, even though it's not really a hook, than every hook that I've heard from Tom McDonald. Because there is raw emotion in there. And then you have the sound of that very low, like like that low ass note that's down there. That shit is just giving me chills. It's, it's making me scared. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me a sense of fear, as it's supposed to. You should fear the fact that he is in this angry state. And that's what it's doing. This is that shit right here. I can't lie, my fear is suicide, not bank accounts. Crack, ignore the sound. Don't look down. Again. Again. Spitting that real shit, bruh. I fuck with this song right now. Alright? I know some of y'all are wanting me to bash Tom McDonald. I'm not bashing his other videos on purpose. I just think they're not good. I'm not just being a troll. I'm giving feedback about his music. And I want to like his music. I want to see where, where people are coming from. And this song right here is doing it for me. Apart from the greatest since old Slim Shady line. Obviously. I don't want to hear about these YouTube rappers. I am not in that bracket, punk. Biggest independent rapper in the world. You just live on my planet, punk. See? Fire. 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 I'm telling you, bruh. I'm not just trying to hate. And actually, to, to be honest, I, I think that about Tom as well. I do not put him in the category as a YouTube rapper. Like, like not even in the slightest. I could make a whole video about what I think the cat like the YouTube rap, like the niche that that I would put people in who who are quote unquote YouTube rappers. Tom, Tom isn't one of them for me. And one of the reasons being is that he is so much bigger than most people that you would put put at YouTube rap. The, the biggest YouTube rapper that I put in my mind as a YouTube rapper is Dax. I don't even think Tom is in that category. Planet Punk got an acid tongue and massive lungs. Every single track I've done is packed the punch. The reactors who trash me for views are lame. Don't ask me to help you remove no claims. If I see you punks, you go lose your chains. <laughs> There are people, I will say, there are people that do react to Tom McDonald videos and purposely troll. And I, I don't I don't consider myself that. I feel like if you're someone who is who's looking from an unbiased standpoint at my videos, I, I, I'm just giving the feedback about music and, and about the criticisms that I have. I'm not using his name to purposely troll to get clicks on the videos. I'm only making all these videos because y'all guys are telling me he got a new track out. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one that changes your mind. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that there are YouTube reactors out there that uh, that that do do that. As much as you Tom lovers want to say that that's what I'm doing, I promise that's not what I'm doing. But at that same time, that doesn't mean that I'm just going to lay down and pretend that I like music just for the clicks and just for the subs. What, mom don't work. Album with Nova and Brandon, they own at the Masters. I told them the fam comes first. Still that's fucking fire, bruh. That's fucking fire. 
Tom, this is it right here. This is your lane, boy. They say stay in your lane, boy, but we go where we want to. But for real though, letting motherfuckers know. I done stuffed a hundred grand in a Louis purse and gave that shit to her. And guess who owns the masters to all the music and video production? I do. Nova does. The, the team does. Because family comes first. That is some shit that anybody could fucking respect. If you're not respecting that shit, then yes, at this point now, you are 100% being a hater. That's what other rappers talk about. They talk about doing it for the fam, getting everybody out the projects, getting the boys out the out the hood. You're gonna go in like that, but you're not gonna like when Tom says it? See, now, now you're just hating just to hate. That's fire. I fuck with that. I'm the type of person who won't even take a Tylenol, even when I got a dozen knives in my bag. They're calling me Bruh. whack, but I don't- I'm not even the person that can take a Tylenol, even when I got the pain of a dozen knives in my back from people that stabbed me in the back. That's fucking hard. That's a bar. And you know why that's a bar? Because I know people who who are battling addiction or, or, they're, or they've seen family members that are battling pill addiction and addiction in general. So they won't ever, they won't ever pop a, a Tylenol, even with the slightest or or a heaviest of headaches because they, they've gone through the trauma of being an addict or being a close family member of an addict. Like that's, some, that's fucking real shit, bruh. This is the time when I said that he's got potential. This is what I was hoping to hear all those songs ago. For me, what makes a good rap line is like saying something, like he's not actually saying it or he's not or he's not saying that he's scared of the addiction and falling back into it. He's saying it in a way that you have to know that that is the mentality of former addicts or members of families who have addicts in there. You have to know that that is the mentality in order to understand how heavy of a line that is. That is what makes a good rap bar for me. Team yelling, trying to cap, I'm concrete, but my demons hide in the cracks, I'm the one. Concrete. I'm concrete, but my demons hide in the cracks, bruh. It's fucking hard. He was so the man I become would invite you all over, put drugs in your pipe. The rappers who hate act like family now. They try to jack my style like some hand me downs. So they'll come as they Grammy's house. I don't uh, even drink, but I'm planning how. And they can die using that to wash Zanny's down. I'm the most successful guy to hold the pencil out. Hard. Hard. Forgot to hold the pencil. I've been great for so long. I'm checking side, peel the skin off, and let the metal shine. Hey. I've been the greatest for fucking buy back the souls of these rappers that sold them for cash to the devil. If I'm so trash, why don't y'all release your videos on a Friday? Cause that's my day. So you only get views if you say my name. <laughs> Angry, I'm famous. Yeah. Not a See, this is this is fire. You're, you're pussy like like wide legs, bro. You're pussy. If you really think you got it like that, why don't you drop your music video on a Friday? You don't because you know I'm dropping on Friday and all the views are going to go to me. It's just such a subtle flex. He's not talking to me. He's talking to other artists because I do release videos on Friday. I would have dropped this on Friday if... It wasn't 4th of July. You know what comes before Tom McDonald this weekend? The United fucking State. I don't have to rap fast to impress all my fans. I am a superstar. <laughs> Man, I'm built for this. I don't got to rap fast to impress all my fans. Again, that is one of the things that I would put in the category of YouTube rapper. Quick rap. Fast rap. Fast rap is mad boring. Never get back all the blood that I spilled for this. Ooh. I'm at the top. I don't even seem high enough. I need a cup. Nobody up here but me is allowed. The VIP section is deep in the cloud. Look me in the eye. You'd have to reach the summit. I won't see you coming. I don't look down. If I stepped on glass, bones touch ground. I will not look back. I cannot look down. You hear the fucking rasp in his voice right there? You know what I'm saying? Like, like the delivery right there. He's literally, his voice is cracking and and like raspiness from screaming because he's let he's angry everything about this part right here fire bro and i feel like i feel like at this point i don't gotta speak on every fucking bar if anything you know that that's you know nothing's going over my head but that was it's fire son like i'm at the top and even then i don't think i'm high enough i need more hills and i need stilts on top of those hills that are on top of the top of the top of the mountain and even then Still won't be high enough. I'm going to run till the shoes fall off, my feet turn black, the skin wears off, and my entire ankle bone, my ankle ball is touching asphalt. That's how much I'm going to make sure that I hustle to get this. So hard. Bones touch ground, I will not look back, voice. I cannot look down. Die in their sleep while I climb to the peak and their eyes never see all the heights that I reach. I deserve it because I took this. This is a dub. 100%. Everything right. I'm fucking hyped right there listening. This is going in the gym playlist, the playlist that I never listen to because I don't go to the gym, but you get my point. It is fucking fire. It's hyping me up.
Since he wants to compare himself to Eminem, this has that same energy of the last verse of the last verse of Till I Collapse. Am I saying it's Till I Collapse? No, I'm not saying that. But it's got that same, I, I'm the fucking one. That's why when you see me walk around, it looks like nothing's bothering me, even though half you fucking people got a problem with me. You hate it, but you know respect you got to give me the press's wet dream like Bobby and Whitney. Nate hit me. Till the roof comes off. To the lights go out. It's a burning, the oxygen needed for life is inadequate. I'm not by success, gonna kill you now. Wish I could see him put you in the ground, but as bad as I want to, I'll never look down. All my life, all you did was doubt, and then that doubt's gonna kill you, life kill. And I would and I would wanna see your body being laid six feet into the ground because my success killed you, but even then I don't look down. I know what I did. I don't gotta see your body fall into the ground. You don't get it still. You don't have to admit it to yourself. When you look at me, you have to look up to me. I am a superstar. Alright, let's talk about it. Let's fucking talk about it. Is he the one for his fans? Probably. Is he the one for me? Nope. But do I see, do I understand the star power? Do I understand the writing capability? Star power, I'm not so sure about just yet. But talent wise, I've always known that the man's had it. And that is what really is the most frustrating part or that you was the most frustrating before this video. I, I was very critical and harsh on Tom McDonald because I know that he's got a pin. If he was just out here just having fun and trying and I didn't think that he really had it, there's no need to be ultra critical. I'm not going to kick somebody while they're down. But if you do got it and you're not showing me anything that's living up to that potential other than some clickbaity shit about some politically charged topic that is going against normal culture or you're going counterculture and your demographic is is 30 to 45 year old white males like yeah i'm gonna give you a little bit harsher criticism because i know that you got what it takes to not have that to not have that like pandering type bullshit associated with your name if he didn't have the talent for that i'd be like enjoy your fan base have a great time just don't step over here into normal hip-hop culture but this right here this is what i've been waiting for for like seven songs Th this is heat from the production his anger in his voice it's like it's almost a little bit scary at the end right there when he's like running out of voice and it's just a i don't even know it's like war of the worlds type beat but everything that he's saying in here is coming direct from the heart i believe this i did not believe half the shit that he was saying in any of the political tracks this is what i wanted this is what I needed right here. Now keep doing this and you might have a fan in me. And, and I know a lot of people who think that I'm being a Tom hater that are watching this video right now. He doesn't give a fuck if you're a fan of his. You're only one person. What? Shut the fuck. I'm talking about me as in the general population of people who care about rap and hip hop. He should care about that. And he does or else he wouldn't be riding with this amount of anger. If he didn't care about what we thought over here, this song would not exist. 